Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going on holiday to Thailand shortly. I thought I'd do a video of what I'm going to take in my makeup bag and my toiletry bag. So my toiletry bag is kind of full. There is a whole bunch of goodies in here and just preparing for whatever happens because it's going to be the first time that I go to Asia so I thought I'll be prepared. And I'm just going to show you things that I've bought along the way for my travels. This toiletry bag I got from Primark a few years ago and I think it was like £2.50 or something. It wasn't expensive at all as well, it is Primark. There is things in Primark they do for travel, which is a packet of these little travel bottles. I've taken a few out already which I'm going to show you of what I've put in them. And they actually come with um, little labels as well that have like shower gel. Um, hair conditioner, makeup remover, so I'm gonna definitely recommend these because I think that, yeah, they're a pound and you get five different bottles. So this is what's inside my toiletry bag. At the top I have got plasters just in case anything happens because obviously I'm taking a few new shoes on holiday as well and just in case I get attacked by loads of mosquitoes and you never know. Two disposable bags. I've taken um, cotton overall pads, Q-tips, I'm going to put false nails on when I go away anyway but just in case I want to take them off it gets too much. I've just got clear nail polish. In the next section is where these little bottles are that I just showed you a minute ago from Primark and this one has actually got the label on it. So in the bottles that I've put in, I've got shower gel, shampoo, and conditioner. And one of the little tubs that there was, I've actually put pseudo cream in there, just obviously if any mosquito bites or any other bites, I can just put this on and then it should be fine. Also I've got my Garnier Cleansing Water Travel Size. And I think this was on special in Superdrug when I bought it for a pound. And then I've got travel size mouthwash because there's no point taking a huge mouthwash. Do we only need a small travel size? So this is the Listerine Stay White mouthwash. And I've taken a St. Ives travel size um, apricot scrub because Obviously you don't want to take so much stuff, like the full size versions or anything because obviously that's going to take up weight in your luggage allowance and that's a lot less luggage allowance for clothes. And then in the final compartment I've got my Colgate Max White toothbrush, a razor, I've got a travel size simple refreshing face wash this to put my toothbrush in it's just a travel case for your toothbrush so that definitely in case anything explodes on the plane then it's not going to go on your toothbrush and then definitely this for going to anywhere tropical it is the jungle um, formula and it is the maximum strength so this one when I went to get my travel injection so travel nurse actually said that you should get a incense repellent that has 50 deets in it so it has to have like a minimum of 50 deets so that is exactly what i bought this one and this is a well-known brand there are cheaper versions out there but i just thought first time going to asia i will just get this one and this is a new thing that i saw um when i was just doing like my makeup haul it is a revolution lip scrub so I thought like with it being hot out there and then I'm gonna be in this like I'm gonna be in the pool and the sea quite a bit and obviously with the salt and the sand I thought I'd just get a lip scrub just in my toiletries bag is my Palmer's hair conditioning mask coconut oil deep conditioning protein pack for dry damaged and color treated hair obviously I still got a bit of color from when I went blonde and I just obviously 
get really damaged hair really quickly. I don't know what it is. I think it's because I straighten it every nearly every day, but I do use heat protection. But obviously I'm gonna be out in a really tropical country and I'm gonna be in and out the pool. And then obviously I've got like dye in my hair still. So I thought I'll take one of my protein packs with me. It literally is one of my favorite things in my toiletries. I always buy them. It's a good like nourishing treatment and yeah, I highly recommend you get one. If you have damaged hair, you put it on for 10 minutes and it does wonders. I've shown you what's in my toiletry bag. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna take in my makeup bag. And I'm not gonna take my whole kit with me. I'm literally just gonna take a few things. An eyeshadow palette is gonna be one that has neutrals and it's gonna be one that has colors in it as well. So versatile palettes to take. Because obviously I don't want to like fill my whole suitcase up because I might be buying stuff while I'm in Thailand to bring back. In my makeup bag I'm going to start from obviously the beginning to the end of my makeup routine because that would be easy for me to keep track of what I'm showing you. So I have my Mario Badescu Hydro Moisturiser with Vitamin C. I have my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer which I absolutely love. And then for foundation, I have gone back to my Maybelline Superstay foundation and I am in the shade Sun Beige. And then for powder, which is one of my favourite powders, the Maybelline Fit Me powder in 220 and it's the matte poreless. When I mean this is poreless, I mean it is poreless. Like, I... This powder is absolutely one of my favourites. So for bronzer, I am taking the Milani Pecan Bronzer. This bronzer is one of my new favourites and it lasts for ages. I've bought this three months ago and I've not even hit pan yet and I use it every day. So I highly recommend this one. I bought this on Beauty Bay and I don't think it was that much money either. For highlighter, I usually use my Revolution Big Palette, but obviously I don't want to take up so much space in my suitcase. So I'm going to take with me my Wet n Wild Precious Petal. For blusher, I am taking my Miss Lynn blusher, and this shade is Treat Me Sweet. Blusher is very subtle, and it just gives like a nice little peachy glow. Highlighter I am actually going to take as well as a liquid highlighter and it is the Revolution liquid highlighter in Luminous Gold just because in case like I want to put it elsewhere that I can just use that instead of using my powder brush um my powder highlighter. So for the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to take is the Morphe Artistry palette in 35b and the reason i'm taking this is because of the colors and there's a few nice warm ones that would be very good for the beach and going out and then i can mix and match and i just feel like this palette is just going to be very versatile for where i'm going my eyeliner that i absolutely love and it's one of my favorites is the la splash um Artitech slim eyeliner and I saw this originally on Nikki Tutorials videos and I got it once and I've not used any other eyeliner since. This is my go-to and my favourite. Mascara, I'm just going to go really simple and I'm just taking the George Big Lash Mascara because I'm only going to be using it as like a little base coat because I am going to be wearing false eyelashes most of the time if I do want long eyelashes just because with the heat, I don't really do well with heat. I thought that maybe having false eyelashes would be a much better solution for me. So, concealer as well. I use the Revolution Conceal and Define. I am literally a big Revolution fan. A lot of my products are Revolution. And the shade in concealer that I get is F9. For lips, if I do want to take anything, it is going to be my Rimmel London Stay Matte in Mocha because this is what I've got on right now and it's just a really nice nude subtle matte lipstick. 
setting spray I'm taking yet again a revolution product and it is my glow fix illuminating setting spray because obviously we're going to be on holiday in a really tropical place you want to have that glow with your highlighter and everything the illuminating fixing spray will just bring all of that out for days where I just want to freshen up my skin and maybe not wear makeup I have my Mario Badescu um, facial spray and the one that I'm going to be taking with me is the aloe vera herbs and rose water it smells gorgeous I had the cucumber one before and literally I recommend getting these because they just smell so nice and they are so refreshing as soon as they as soon as they touch your skin you just feel so like vitalized with my makeup sponges it's going to be my morphe sponge and with brushes it's going to be my spectrum brushes and I do have two new eyeshadow brushes which I'm taking with me and they are BH Cosmetics V5 brush one's by Beauty Bay and it is the round the blend so these are my two new eyeshadow brushes what that I use is always the simple brand i've got these ones which are the exfoliating ones that i'm going to take with me just because obviously there's going to be so much sand and chlorine and obviously like sweat because it's a hot country so i thought the exfoliating ones are going to be the best ones to take for my hair i am using the tresemme keratin smooth formula oil for my hair but I'm going to try and just straighten it the odd time and then just let it naturally form its curls like today I haven't straightened it it's just literally got the curls that I woke up with and obviously I've like brushed it but that's what I'm going to try and do on holiday so I don't like damage my hair even more so my next video is going to be what's in my um take on the plain bag I'm not a big bag person I literally take a cat like I have a mini backpack and that is going to be what my carry-on is if anything needs to fit in that it's going to fit in it if anything can't fit in it it's not coming with me because I hate carrying bags I'm a backpack girl it's just me I'm backpacks and then your hands are free so my next video is going to be what's in my backpack for the plane so make sure you check out that video if you like this video or you want any information on where I got products from then please like this video and give it a comment down below I'll answer to any of your comments um please hit that subscribe button that would be so grateful and until next time catch you in the next video bye